Hello. Snake, do you read? Snake. I'm busy. Major. Snake, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Kind of busy. You're far from okay. Look at your life gauge. You're on your last. Busy. Day. No, I can still. <laughs> See. Snake, this is a solo sneaking mission. Do you know what that means? Yeah. No, you don't. Huh? It means there's no backup, no cavalry. If you're taken out, nobody is there to take your place. Uh, Pull out for now and recuperate. Find a hiding place and get some rest. Your life gauge will gradually recover with time. But the speed of your life gauge recovery depends on the level of your stamina gauge. So get plenty to eat, then get some rest. You hear me? Uh, Do you hear me? Busy! Here you go. <laughs> there are people throwing grenades and stuff at my face. Oh, hi there. Would you like some shotgun shells? Ow! You definitely get a shotgun shell. <laughs> he flies good. Okay. Where are they? Woo! Oh, hi there. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, hi there. Oh my god, I blew up more barrels. <laughs> I'm making a mess of everything. Oh, I missed. Ow. Alright, come here, come here, come here. No, they killed me. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> let's try this one more time. Well, it is hilarious to blow people away with shotguns. Let's try this again, shall we? Redo, redo. What? Uh, What's going on? nothing. Respond. Nothing. He's fine. There's wrong. No, there's not. Their He's fine. He's just a little sleepy. What? <gasps> oh, crap! Oh, crap! <laughs> I didn't expect him to come up from behind. Let's try this one more time, shall we? Take that. Ouchie, ouchie. I'm just gonna retry this. Hang on, guys. Third time's the charm, maybe? Alright. Let's crawl. Let's make sure we hit this guy this time. Ah. HQ respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. All right, let's get in the grass because there's going to be guys coming behind me. And let's change my camouflage to leaf. No one here. There's nothing and no one here. Just go about your business. Just go. All clear. Yeah, that's what I thought. Bye. Have fun, boys. Shall we try this again? Oh, God. 
Didn't realize there was someone right there. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, you are. <laughs> Don't come over here. I beg you. <laughs> Alright. Let's take him out. All quiet like. There we go. Alright. Let's get this guy over in the grass. What do we got over here? Let's take care of the perimeter first, shall we? And then we'll worry about the building. Sound like a plan? Of course it does. Don't know if it's a great plan, but definitely it's a plan. Okay. Anyone over there? Do, 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 do. I'm a ninja. A, a U.S. Army ninja. <laughs> okay. Oh. Helps if I load my gun. Bam! There we go. Come on, pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up, 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 up. Alright, gonna go. What did I get? Alright, what did, what, did, what did I get? What did I get? Give me it. Okay, good. Oh, hello. There's a ladder here. Anyone over there? Okay, so you can't go around that way. Let's go up the ladder then. Maybe we'll be able to get a clear view of what's going on. Climb the ladder, snake. Climb it! Climb it! Get down, get down, get down. Okay. What's good camouflage for this? Uh, splitter. And... Sure, let's do tree bark. Uh, oh, can I get the bird? I want to get the bird. Sweet! Totally got the bird. Hey, paramedic. How does bird E taste? I see you've caught yourself a Sunda whistling thrush. Yeah, one of them things. The Sunda whistling thrush is a bird native to Java and Sumatra. It's distinguished by its large blue body and long beak. It really stands out in the forest. That was blue? Got it. So... How does it taste? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? The guy doesn't say. I guess there's no reason you couldn't eat them. Oh, I see. But it's nice and plump, so I'm sure it'd make a hearty meal. That's a good point. Uh. <laughs> oh, Snake. You like Mikey, you'd eat anything. Oh, hello there. Uh -huh. Oh, gosh. Nope. Who was that? Come on, come on. That? Darn it! Darn it! God! Start it! Get down, snake! No, down! <laughs> I can't do anything right! Oh, cool, no radio man. This means no backup. Which means I just take out this guy. 
with the knife. Bam. And take him out with the knife. Ah, oh, crap. Great. Just fantastic. Where? Oh, there he is. Kill him. I'm trying to get up the stairs before the backup comes. La, 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 la. Oh crap, they saw me. No! Die! This is so effective. <laughs> Ouchie. Need my shotgun. No, don't cover up in the wall. Snap his neck. Good lord, I forgot I could do that too. Hi there. suck <laughs> I just took out all the reinforcements too well most of them Let's do this there's my shotgun let's go find that last guy blow him away with a shotgun because darn it if we can't do it right we'll at least do it fun Where is he? There he is. What the? Boom. <laughs> is that everyone? Anyone left? Did I just kill all of Russia's army? Hello. Hello. Hi there. What were you doing? Were you hiding from me? Were you hiding? That's cute. Oh my god! I think I took out his radio too. <laughs> Bye. All right. Who's left? Oh, hi there. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. That, not such a good idea. That worked. Do they just keep coming forever? I thought eventually you'd kill them all. Hello. If they just keep coming forever and ever, eventually we'll stop this and do something else. <laughs> no, see, there they go. That's all of them. I killed all. I killed Russia. <laughs> I killed the Soviet Union. <sighs> like I said can't do it right do it fun <laughs> I suck at this game
You must be Sokolov. Are you one of Vulcan's men? Yes? No, wait. No. Wait. You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. And I don't swing that way. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. In the East, they know him as Twinkle Toes. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the Army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the Motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the Army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far but the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position and on top of that the tragedy last november president kennedy's assassination precisely in a sense khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away a certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. Okay. That sounds evil. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Actually, they might. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. No, I don't wanna. By the way, your Russian is superb. What? Where did you learn to speak it? But we're speaking English, fella. My mentor. <laughs> Obviously, we're speaking Russian. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I had to kill them. There was no other way. But no one will know we were involved. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Well, there was another way. I could have, you know, been sneaky. But that's probably asking too much from me. So I killed them all with a shotgun and a knife. And I snapped one guy's neck.
I love this guy's old man kung fu stance. Man, them hands are gonna mess someone up. I killed all of you. <gasps> Are you ghosts? Didn't know there were zombies in this game. So this is the legendary boss. Huh? huh? We meet at last. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh. What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. Don't you forget it. We're not full of ourselves at all. He's actually quite humble when you get to know him. <laughs> Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? <gasps> That's not true. I've seen tons of times where the Ocelot doesn't catch it. The animal. Oh, it was a metaphor. I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? About to beat you like a boss. <clears throat> Crew operatives. What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> <laughs> what? I like this gun. If you're not the boss, then die. Major! Leave it! Shoot the other one! Look at Snake go with his bad self.
first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do. But testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> Stay down this time. I don't want to embarrass you more. But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Yes, pretty good. Welcome to Let's Learn English. <laughs> Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you alright? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. No, it's the Soviet like Union. It. It's a lot colder. Thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. I mean, Cuba's like a tropical island. Soviet Union's really Oh, oh, you meant metaphorically. You guys gotta, gotta warn me with these things. Alright, let's go find Sokolov. Oh, by the way, if anyone, uh, actually, night, night, birdie. Um, if anyone's wondering what Ocelot was trying to do, if I remember correctly, uh, I think Snake says it later on or something, but, uh, there's some Middle Eastern technique or something where you uh, eject the first bullet by hand uh, so that you can load a new round or something. Anyway, the, the video game was, was, was wrong because it's not... Basically, what, what they were trying to say is that his gun jammed because there was already a bullet in the chamber when he loaded the new magazine, but he forgot there was a bullet in the chamber because he thought he had ejected it. And so, since there was already a bullet in the chamber when he put the new magazine in, the second bullet, for, or the first bullet from the magazine couldn't be chambered because there was already a bullet in the chamber, and thus it jammed. That gun, guns don't work like that at all. Uh, all that would have happened is he would have just fired the bullet in the chamber, and then the other bullet would have been chambered. Or he could have pulled the slide back and ejected what was in there. Anyway, th it's wrong. It's just wrong. <laughs> but whatever. It's fun. Okay. Those men were from the Ocelot unit. Spetsnaz? Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. That's what they were making you build. Yes. The Shagahod. The treading behemoth. A tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No. This is only the end of Phase 1. It won't be truly finished until we complete Phase 2. Phase 2? The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. World War. I had no choice but to cooperate. I did 
didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America, quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. To America! <laughs> it's this way. <laughs> really, really far this way. <laughs>